We're back with a follow-up video to a video that I posted very recently about a mysterious rock painting that seemed to depict aliens in Red Dead Redemption 2. Apparently there are four of those that have been found, so I thought in this video we could go over all four of them. However, I didn't want to remove the last video because I thought my deductions might be helpful towards the overall Mount Shan mystery, which is what this is obviously playing into. Now, I want to say I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for a comment by Capanology who made a video back in December of last year which can guide us to all four of the rock painting locations and so I shall leave a link in the description for all those who want to go ahead and check it out. Obviously I will guide you to them here as well but there'll be a lot more baggage to this video such as me pushing a random man off a cliff. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there, poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town. All four of these locations are located south of Mount Sham, which is just a bit north of Strawberry. Now, first of all, let's get the one that we focused on last video out of the way. This one shows three humans worshipping a godlike being, which is apparently supposed to be an alien of some sort, in the sky. And in the top right hand corner, there is a crescent moon. That last detail is important. You'll know why in a bit. Now, let's go take a look at the one that's west of Strawberry, which can be found around here on the map. Here you can see two humans who seem to be armed with sticks walking besides, or standing next to at the very least, a very tall slender alien looking figure. Very different looking to the one on the previous painting. And of course in the top right corner there is yet another crescent moon. The next one is located not too far away from the first one. It's here. Now you're going to want to come from the north south because from the south north you will just be met by the foot of a cliff. And instead of black paint being used which makes it very easy to see, this is red which makes it fainter. However, you can also see here the crescent moon in the corner, which means it's probably related and a drawing of what appears to be an alien here as well. In fact, there appear to be two drawings of aliens. Now to the easiest of the four to find, which I say because there's a landmark that you can use to find it. You're going to want to head here, which is just northeast of Strawberry. There's this giant rock in the distance, which you can face like this. And here is where you will find the final painting of the four that is known. There might be more. We don't know. This painting seems to have two people facing an alien like creature or maybe it's just another person I can't really tell who seems to be beholding the moon which is a half moon as opposed to a crescent moon this time. What the significance of the moon's presence is on all four paintings I don't know yet. Maybe it's telling us to return to those rocks at night during those points in the lunar cycle and though it does make sense I get the vibe that someone would have accidentally triggered this by now and seen a UFO and reported it. Obviously before wasting days of my life to see if that would actually work I wanted to see if there was any connection between the location so what I did to begin with was I drew a line between both of the black drawings and a line between both of the red ones. Obviously it's not perfect but obviously there is quite a clear overlap there. I also drew a connection between each of the locations to each other. What I'm trying to find is an obvious focal point, something that I'm struggling to do. However when there was just a line between the black paintings and a line between the red ones, there was a crossover and that appears to meet on a road, an elevated road that has quite a good view. So I thought, you know what, why don't we wait until night time and see what we can find? Obviously nothing happened, but I'm of the belief that learning from what doesn't work is better than learning from what works. So at least we can discard this. So next I went to the rocks at the point in the lunar cycle marked on them. I knew that I'd only have to do this once because it would either prove or disprove that something would happen. And unfortunately, I got no results there because it's a bit weird but the moon actually reveals itself throughout the night as opposed to over the course of a month or a week or whatever. So I'm quite confident that there's nothing to be found there. Obviously these paintings have something to do with the Mount Shan mystery which makes me think that these are all just referencing the sightings that we can have at Mount Shan. And if you go up Mount Shan at night you can actually witness a UFO. Though I do believe it requires 100% completion to do. As I myself have never been able to actually trigger the Mount Shan UFO. However there is another place where you can also witness it. Obviously I'm on about this shack here. 
where if you enter this shack at night, a green glow will come through the ceiling, and if you leave, you will catch a brief glimpse at the UFO. Okay, so what's my point here? We know that the UFOs exist within Red Dead Redemption 2, and that aliens are the focal point of the Mount Shan mystery. There may be a solution to it all out there, I don't know, but I don't think that these four rock paintings have much to do with it. However, they are there to remind us about the Mount Shan mystery. It's like Rockstar want us to run around like headless chickens trying to solve it. Maybe someone with 100% completion could trigger something to happen at these rock paintings, who knows. I have to hold back from saying rock carvings instead because it just rolls better than rock paintings. So if someone with 100% completion in this game and a lot of spare time wants to investigate this, then please do let me know what you found down in the comments section. In the meantime, I'll have to try to get up there myself so I can investigate it myself at a later date. So the final question that needs to be asked is, who actually painted these paintings? The answer is quite simple, ye olde humans from a long time ago. Considering this is North America, it must have been Native Americans. Or maybe even people who came before them. But I'm not going to fathom that one. So I guess that concludes this video. Please do let me know what you think down in the comments section. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.